Get ready for a wild Valentine wreath DIY. Today's playlist is hosted by the Grace Life DIY Home Decor, Deborah Cabasa Home Living, and At Home with Lisa Lisa. I'll have their channels listed in the description box below along with the playlist. For today's wreath, I'm using one of these smaller square wreath forms from Dollar Tree. Some of this leopard print ribbon that I got at the thrift store. The black ribbon is from Walmart and the burlap ribbon is from Dollar Tree. I'm cutting eight inch pieces to begin with. Once I have several pieces cut, I am going to dovetail each end. I will be folding these ribbon pieces in half as shown. I'm starting on the outside ring of the wreath and I'm going to be placing that ribbon as I'm showing here so that it is folded in half and I'm going to hot glue that in place. The second piece really should be overlapped a little bit onto the first piece and you cut a part in the back so that it will fit around that brace. So if you just watch here, it'll be a little bit more clear. I'm going to cut up about halfway in the ribbon and then place those pieces around that middle brace and then hot glue just as we did the first part. The only difference is that I would scoot that over to the left just a little bit so that it would overlap onto the other ribbon. Now we're going to continue around the outside of the wreath form all the way around. Again, make sure that you do overlap those ribbons. You'll see that I did later on. I just wasn't thinking on this first part. You also will have to cut down that back side of the ribbon for the corner braces, just as I'm showing here. Now for the second ring of the wreath, I'm cutting six inches of this burlap ribbon and I'm going to fold it in half, but this ribbon I'm not going to dovetail. I'm going to glue it just as we did the first ring all the way around. You're gonna to have to be a little bit careful here with that hot glue um, because it will come through that burlap. Now for the inside ring, I'm doing the same thing. I am going to go ahead and cut this about five and a half to six inches, and I am going to dovetail the ends and fold it in half. We're going to glue this around the center part of the wreath, just as we did the first two rings. Now we're going to work on some embellishments for the wreath. I printed out this wild thing, I think I love you, on my printer and I printed it onto some uh, stenograph paper. It's very thin and I'm going to be Mod Podging that onto this sign. So I painted the sign with Waverly and Cashew because that seemed to match the paper the best. I'm also using one of these red wooden hearts from Dollar Tree and this stencil that I got from Amazon. To apply the Waverly Black chalk paint, I'm using this card because I don't actually have chalk paste, so I'm just using the chalk paint. Mm -hmm. 
While I set that heart aside to dry, I'm going to move on to the next step. Now I'm going to move on to the Mod Podge iron-on method. So I'm going to coat my sign with Mod Podge and let it dry. Once the Mod Podge is dry, I cut out my graphic and I left it a little bit bigger than the sign so that I can sand off those edges for a nice smooth finish. Now I'm applying a piece of Teflon paper and I'm using my little mini iron to reactivate the Mod Podge so that the paper will stick to the sign. Now I'll go ahead and use my finger sander to sand off the excess paper make the sign stand out a little bit more I used my black ink pad and just went around the edge of the sign. Now that the little leopard heart is dry I'm going to hot glue that to the sign as well. Instead of adding a bow to this ribbon wreath, I didn't really want to use ribbon, so I used this grapevine bow that I got at a thrift store, and I'm using a pen, just a safety pen, to pin the sign onto the ribbon and onto the wreath. That way, I can change it for the seasons if I want. I'm really happy that you joined me today. If you enjoyed this Valentine Wreath DIY, be sure and smash that thumbs up button and leave a comment below. If you haven't subscribed yet, I invite you to do that before you leave. It's free and totally worth it. Thanks again to all of our hosts. They are listed in the description box below, so be sure to check them out along with the playlist to get lots of other wreath ideas. Thanks so much for watching. Please remember to share the chic. Bye now.